we got kind of a problem going on. I mean, not to mention what they're doing to women in the process. When you got a guy that can dress up and pretend he's more feminine than anyone ever dreamed of, it's effectively making a mockery of women. And we women, we don't appreciate it. And guess what? We control, we control household spending. Women are the CFOs of their families. We're the ones that spend the money. So guess what? You need us on your side. And we're not buying AB InBev products or Bud Light products. And we're definitely not buying any Nike sports bras or Nike shoes for our kids. Thank you very much. The stock price hasn't quite yet been affected. Nike stock price. But I'm telling you, this movement, as they say, has legs. And because women, we do the bulk of the household spending, we don't have to buy the Nike sneakers for our kids. Now, do we? I do get a little bit happy when I start to see investors vote with their feet. Speaking of which, I was just talking to an investor friend of mine who was kind of outraged by the whole thing himself. And guess what? He just bought some shares of Molson Core, which were up 0.41%. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to diversify into another beer, both at home and in my stock portfolio. Again, none of this is financial advice. I always have to qualify. None of this is financial advice, but I just thought it was a cute anecdote that I wanted to share with you. If you're looking to hold another beer company, <laughs> Molson Coors has yet to come out with a transgender ad.